Hi, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Joe from AWS. And today we're going to be talking about the recommended tools for your fab shop. So you want to build some cool stuff. The first thing you're going to need is a welder. I would suggest a small multi-process machine. That way you can run MIG, TIG, stick, flux core, and maybe even a spool gun. It'll be a small footprint welder, but make sure it has the capability to use dual voltage. And to go with that welding machine, you're also going to need to invest in a welding table. Now, you can either have a welding table with a steel top or a stainless steel top. You also want to look for something that's going to be heavy duty. And the cool thing about a welding table is you can either buy one or make your own. Obviously, you're gonna wanna have a grinder. Make sure you get a grinder that can accommodate a variety of discs, like Zerk wheels, cutoff wheels, wire wheels, or hard rock wheels. Whenever using a grinder, make sure you always have the garden place. I prefer a four and a half inch grinder to start. And another piece of equipment that you may want to get for your shop is a plasma cutter. Now this tool can be used to cut a variety of materials including stainless, carbon steel, and aluminum. But remember, if you're going to get a plasma cutter, you're going to need an air compressor. Of course, you're going to need a good variety of hand tools. Like this tape measure here. I look for one that usually has great visibility to read and is long enough to accommodate whatever I'm working with. Locking pliers. They come in a variety of styles. This particular one would be is nice because it has a deep throat for clamping certain pieces of material. They come in handy, especially when you're fabricating with sheet metal. C-clamp, definitely have to have it. Whenever you're fabricating or working with materials, being able to hold it down in position, this guy's gonna come in handy. Adjustable wrenches, of course, always gonna be a quick and easy way to loosen up a bolt, or if you're swapping cylinders, you're gonna need one. And the magnetic triangle. They're great. If you're tacking stuff together, it holds the material in place at 90 degrees. You may also want to grab yourself some heavy duty fabrication squares. These are going to come in handy when you're laying out some larger jobs on heavier steel. And files, you're definitely going to want to get yourself a couple of files and they'll help with deburring and getting off any you know, rough sharp edges off of your material that you've just cut. And Allen keys. Allen keys are really handy to have in the shop, especially when it comes to servicing your equipment. And you're also going to want to make sure you get yourself a standard and metric version. Then we have our level or angle finder. It's really important to have these on hand, especially if you're trying to find angles depending on what you're building. And also, you got to keep things level at times and you're gonna need something to mark what you're working on. You can use things like your paint marker, soapstone, or even a pencil. Depending on the welding process, you may need a wire brush and a welder's hammer. I use these every day. Never overlook a variety of pliers. Whether locking or not, they're always good to have in the toolbox. And if you're gonna be doing a lot of MIG welding, the most important tool in your shop is gonna be a set of welding pliers. Now these are gonna help you clean your tip trim your wire, and change out your nozzles. You are going to use these every day. 